the DeWalt 15 amp corded 12 inch double bevel sliding compound miter saw. That's what we're reviewing today. Brought to you by the Home Depot Prospector. This tool is actually on sale right now. I'll put a link in the description below. This is going to be fun. Let's get it started. Model number four, DWS779. This saw is definitely a workhorse. I'm gonna show you all the features on this. We're gonna do some slicing. We're gonna do some dicing, but check it out. I'm telling you what, this thing, I'm impressed with the build quality. It's a little bit old school, but you know what? It'll take a beating and it is powerful. Double bevel, you got 45 degree cuts on each side. Maximum cut thickness on this, 6.75 inches. Maximum miter cut degree, 50, three-year warranty, and it'll allow you to cut crown molding up to seven and a half inches. Now the blade comes with this. I really like the D-Wall blades. I will tell you that. Very sharp, very accurate. Everything was lined out perfectly. Everything was set correctly when I took this thing out of the box. All in all, it was ready to go. Now, the RPM on this, 3,800. We're going to use a tachometer. We're going to throw it on the blade here a little bit later. We're going to see what that reads. Check out the fencing, though. Really like it. Easy to slide back and forth. You're getting those larger cuts or those larger bores in there. What I really like about this, though, is check it out. you got the grooves on there, and it really holds that wood in there really nice. Causes that friction so it doesn't slide around on you. Yeah, that's really nice how they milled that out. Not to mention, it's oh so shiny. Now, you do got the dust collector here, but didn't really make much sense here check this dust bag out it works a little bit but what's it really going to do kind of small now you got the stainless steel d plate. i really like that i thought that was great you got the 10 positive stops on here real simple real easy to make those adjustments it's just oh so smooth so the maximum miter to the right 60 degrees the miter to the left 50 degrees all you gotta do is push that button down slider lock it in you got those positive detents right there. There you go. That's it. Real simple, real heavy duty. I love it. It was just really nice to see how well it was built. I will tell you that. So, the one thing that I do not like on this saw is your actual clamp. I don't know why, but everybody went to these chintzy clamps here. I mean, not saying that it won't hold up, but I just hate how you have to screw it down like that. Some of the older models, they were so nice. You could just drop them down, lock them in. I don't know, I just don't care for it. You got your blade lock right here on the back, real nice. Locks that blade out so you can change it, no issue there. If you wanna take that blade up, all you gotta do is pull out your pin. You wanna lock her down, just push that pin right back in. Very simple. All right, so here's what I'm talking about old school. You know, this is not a newer saw, it's been out for some time. You know, you screw her down there, you lock it into position when you find the bevel that you want. You pull that pin out. You know, some of the newer saws out there now, all you gotta do is reach back, pull up a lever, and they bevel for you, lock in. Now, right here, you gotta go behind it, you gotta loosen it up, pull that pin. So yeah, it's kinda old school if you ask me. But it's smooth. You know, the bevels are real easy to make. And again, I was happy with that. Now, another thing I really like about this is if you're going from different cuts, right, you got a couple positive stops here, all you gotta do is adjust those out. And you don't have to worry about pulling that pin out. So it does help. Check it out. That screw will come down. It'll hit it and go back up. I like that. You got that on both sides. You can see it's going to prevent it from going to the 45 degree. You slide one of those out. It goes down a little further. Slide it out. Really does make things nice and convenient. You know, if you don't feel like going back and messing with the adjustments or looking, you know, it'll automatically stop that for you. And it pulls in and out real nice it just glides I gotta be careful though you know I've been talking a lot I gotta watch out for that Dewalt fairy you know I showed up on that table saw last time but yeah check that out a little lock for you and if you don't want it to go anywhere it's nice but yeah I, anyway what I was saying is this oh the Dewalt fairy yeah I did Dewalt fairy you gonna answer me this time Ugh, that Dewalt Fairy makes me so mad. And one of these days, that Dewalt Fairy, she's going to answer one of my tweets for the subscribers. All right, let's do some cutting, some slicing, dicing. We got a 2x6 right here, some pine. We're going to go straight down. This thing is not a soft start. It will kick on you. Check that out. 
Keep that in mind. It'll go. I'll tell you what, it is powerful, man. It is a powerful, powerful saw. All right, I'll give you a closer look. We're going right down on the line. No light on this, no laser. Yeah, I've been using this saw a lot lately, and every time that I go to use this, the only thing that comes to mind is, you know, these guys out there are doing the framing work and got a lot of wood out there and they're building houses just on the heavy construction site. And this is what this saw is made for. 45 degree. And I love the sound of that blade. Ding! It's just an awesome sound, but I'll tell you what, man. It, it's just a powerful, powerful saw. So what I want to do here is I'm going to show you this bevel. Again, real easy to adjust left, right. You know, the saw, they're saying that it weighs about 56 pounds in total. Um, but you can feel a little bit of a weight when you're actually adjusting this. But again, it's a 12 inch saw. So, you know, you sort of have to expect that. But again, no light on this. Would have been nice to see that. There's no laser, which I don't care about the laser. It would have been nice to have the light to see that that blade shadow. But yeah, super, super smooth, man. Just a beast of a saw. Just an absolute beast. Real happy so far with this. All right, so here's what I want to do. I am going to throw the laser tack up on here. See what that blade's spinning in at. It's not a real expensive one. Probably looking at like 40 bucks. Bought this on Amazon. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to turn that blade on. We're going to shine that laser on like so. We're going to see what that reads. Let's do that now. All right, I'm going to aim up towards the middle of the blade here, and then we'll bring it down towards the teeth. But uh, let's see what we got here. All right, let's hit the memory and see what we got. 1,658 and a half RPM. So we're going to move that down towards the teeth. And uh, we're running this off with a 110 out in the garage. So let me go down a little bit further, and we'll try it again. Let's see what we got. All right, I think that's good. And FYI, I have tried this a couple more times after I shot the video, and every time after, it's been coming around the 2,500 RPM mark. So, yeah, and again, no light on here. But yeah, it's been coming around the 2,500. You got the nice guard on there, it just rolls. You got the wheels on the bottom here. All in all, I gotta be honest with you, it is a powerful, powerful saw. It does have a little bit of a kick. Like I said, it's not the newest thing out on the market, but it'll definitely do the job. I'm really happy with this. So there you go, guys. Dewalt 12-inch miter saw. I'll put the link in the description below. Again, if you like this video, thumbs up, subscribe. Check us out at tourreviewzone.com. We'll be back with more videos soon. And don't forget to come over and say hi on our Instagram page at tourreviewzone. We'll see you soon.